Wobby Tribe. I'm still out and about. I think it's the 9th of August. Might be the 10th, I don't know. I don't care. Come across a good find here, guys. Look at this for a group of parasols. Now, I know I've done the shaggy parasol. But these aren't shaggy parasols. These are actually your uh, basic parasol mushrooms. They are edible. And they're big. Let's have a look at them. See the size of them. Hold on a sec, guys. Let's give you a scope of the size of these. There's my hand. So they're good. Well, they're full size of my hand. Let's have a look at these ones. This is a nice specimen here. Look at that. What a lovely mushroom. I will pull this one up, just so we can have a look at it. You see the size of that, guys? You can see why they're called a parasol mushroom. And these ones are pretty good. They're in good condition. And they're actually quite tasty. Like I said, I showed you the shaggy parasol, but these are just your basic parasol mushroom. I'm really impressed with this find. I mean, if you were out in the wild, middle of August, you've run out of food and you come across this little nassle of mushrooms. Well, I say little. I mean, wow, guys. You could put that on a plate. Get your bacon on there, your eggs on there. You get all the goodness out of that. Be full of potassium. Good for radiation. Now I, did, I was told we were getting a lot of radiation off the sun and that might explain why we've got big groups of parasols and other types of mushroom. It's been a good year so far. I mean, I know we've had the rain and the warmth, which is all good. But yeah, the parasol mushroom. Look after each other, guys. Stay wild. Get out, learn nature, learn your mushrooms, learn your wild food. Loads of nettles here, these are young ones and all, haven't gone to seed. It's all good. Take care of each other, guys, and stay wild. Wild man out.